Hello, my chicks, and welcome to our series of videos on the perfect market. In today's lesson, we will be focusing on an increase or a decrease in supply and how it impacts on the long run equilibrium position. In our previous lessons, we learned that in the short run, a business can earn a normal profit or an economic profit, or it can incur an economic loss. A defining characteristic of the long run grey dwarves is that an individual business can only ever earn a normal profit. I almost feel like I need to give you a minute for that to absorb. So what we are in essence saying grey dwarves is that in the short run, economic profits and economic losses can occur, but in the long run, only normal profits can ever occur. So let's unpack the long run equilibrium position. When firms are earning economic profits, it acts as a signal for the entry of new firms. So let me explain this with the aid of an example. We know that currently there is a huge demand for hand sanitizer due to COVID-19. So if the hand sanitizer industry is earning economic profits, it will act as an incentive for new firms to join this industry, thereby increasing the supply of firms. When firms are incurring economic losses, it acts as a signal for firms to exit the market. So let's just say that a cure has been found for COVID-19 and there's no longer a demand for face masks. The face mask industry grade 12 could very possibly incur economic losses. No firm can incur indefinite economic losses. So some firms will leave the face mask industry and join another industry where economic profits are being earned. This will therefore cause a decrease in the supply of firms. Grade 12s, the long run equilibrium position in the perfect market will therefore definitely be influenced by the entry or exit of individual businesses. We are now going to examine the entrance and exit of firms from a graphical point of view. Let's start with the entrance of new firms. When firms are making an economic profit, new firms will be encouraged to enter the industry. When we analyze graphs, grade twelves, we always start off with the original situation. So, where D1 and S1 intersect, the equilibrium point of E1, price of P1, and quantity of Q1 is formulated. The firm is a price taker, and that means that the firm will adopt the price of P1. At the price of P1, we can see that the average costs clearly lie below the average revenue, indicating grade 12 that the firm has in fact earned an economic profit. Economic profits act as a signal for new firms to enter the industry, and that therefore means that the supply will increase. So our supply curve will move to the right to indicate an increase, and that means a new supply curve of S2 will be formed, where S2 intersects with D1, a new equilibrium of E2, equilibrium price of P2, and quantity of Q2 will be formulated. The firm is a price taker and will adopt the price of P2. At the price of P2, a normal profit is made, grade 12, and that is because the average costs is in fact equal to the average revenue. So, let's go through this slowly once more. Where D1 and S1 intersect, the equilibrium point, price and quantity is formulated. Equilibrium point, price and quantity is formulated. The individual firm is a price taker, which means that they will adopt the equilibrium price of P1. We definitely know that will happen. At the price of P1, the individual firm is making an economic profit because its average revenue is more than its average costs. This will signal for more firms to enter the market and that means that the supply will increase from S1 to S2. When more firms enter the market, the supply will increase, causing the supply curve to shift to the right to form S2, S2. Where S2 and D1, D1 intersect, a new equilibrium point of E2, P2 
and Q2 is formulated. The individual firm will therefore adopt the price of P2, which is there, and at P2 the firm will be making a normal profit because its average costs are in fact equal to its average revenue. That's my average costs, that's my average revenue, which means that a normal profit has been earned. We can therefore conclude, grade 12s, that the new firms that enter an industry where an economic profit is earned, the supply will increase, which will cause the price to decrease, and a normal profit will then be earned. Let's look at what happens when we have firms that exit the market. When firms are incurring an economic loss, some firms will leave the industry. So let's start again with the original situation where D1 and S1 intersect, the equilibrium point of E1, price of P1 and Q1 is formulated. The firm is a price taker, so that means it will adopt the price of P1. At P1, an economic loss is being incurred, and that is because the average costs lie above the average revenue, meaning that a loss has been incurred. When that happens, some firms will leave the industry, and this will cause the supply curve to decrease. In other words, the supply curve will decrease from S1 to S2. At S2, and D1, where they intersect, a new equilibrium point, price and quantity will be formulated. The firm is a price taker, and that means it will adopt the price of P2. At the price of P2, a normal profit will be made because the average costs are in fact equal to the average revenue, and that means that a normal profit will be earned. Let's go through it slowly once more where D1 and S1 intersect, the equilibrium point, price and quantity is formulated. The individual firm is a price taker and will adopt the equilibrium price of P1. At the price of P1, the individual firm is incurring an economic loss because its average costs are more than its average revenue, meaning that a loss has been incurred. When firms leave the market, the supply will decrease, causing the supply curve to shift to the left. Where S2 and D1 intersect, a new equilibrium point, price and quantity will be formulated. The individual firm will therefore adopt the higher price of P2. P2. At P2, the firm will be making a normal profit because its average costs are equal to its average revenue. Average costs, average revenue, normal profit. We can therefore conclude again, grade 12s, that when firms leave an industry where an economic loss is being made, the supply decreases, causing the price to increase and a normal profit will be earned. So, the long-run equilibrium position for the firm is always to make a normal profit. Wherever you see a long-run equilibrium graph, it must now become synonymous with normal profit. You should now be able to draw and explain the long-run equilibrium position, and you should also know how the entrance and exit of firms impact on the long-run equilibrium position. Thank you very much. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from the Answer Series, your key to exam success.